Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to It's Elise, and today I'm taking you along my first day of summer classes as a computer science student and a work day on campus. I hope you enjoy. It's 8.28, so I'm gonna like locate the link to the Zoom meeting right now. As for like required stuff we need for this class, the only thing we would need is a textbook. As for like IDEs, which I'll have a definition on the screen of what that is, IDEs basically like a technological environment you would use to code stuff. From the first assignment, which I'm such a overachiever, I literally already started on it. It's almost like the IDE is given through a link on a website, so it's not something you have to download on a computer, which I am so happy for, because my computer is about to kill me. Uh, this is the current Canvas page that we're working with. I made it pink with Google Chrome and I made it specifically connected to my school Gmail account. Oh, and class is literally starting right now, so let me go. <laughs> anyway, thank you, but I'm not sure whether the one you set it up or is the one you are posting is the one the TA set up. It's a lot of material and he went over time. The class was supposed to end at 12.15. He ended up saying, oh, well, since I'm already talking about like this stuff, I'm gonna end it at 12.35, which my brain clocked out at I'm currently in the second day of my summer class. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we can use this couple hours of this class to work on labs. Everyone's pretty quiet because I guess everyone's starting to work on the labs. I already finished lab one, that was easy, but lab two, I can't wrap my head around it, but I'm gonna try to see if I can figure it out. The programming language we use in this class is C. I used C last year. It was operations and networking, which is ITSC 3146. And it was pretty simple. And that's the thing, if you go into computer science and just look at code, you'll realize the format is generally the same. Syntax-wise, it'd be different, if that makes sense. So it wasn't that hard to grasp on C because it's very similar to Java. I'm just gonna work on lab two now. I finished the first part of this lab. For this one, what they ask us to do is add your code from printing addresses of array elements using ampersand operator in base plus offset calculation. Generally, I'm going to see if there's any other type of solution I haven't tried yet. And if it comes to a point where I literally tried and exhausted all of my ideas and I'm just gonna ask a TA. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. So let's see here. Update. I was able to figure it out and the addresses of array elements. I figured that out. Thank God. But guys, I'm like low-key very proud that I was able to figure that out because I was just like, I recommend if you ever like hit a stump, whether with a math problem, computer science problem, or just a problem in general, go to the core of like what is actually confusing you about the problem. For me, we're basically traversing a array. I'm used to working with one array and like every blue moon, they would throw a multi-dimensional array. That's not easy. I don't remember how to <laughs> use a two-dimensional array with four loops is what I use to traverse through it, which is a very common type of loop in coding. I went to the internet. I was like, what is a two-dimensional array? How do you traverse through a two-dimensional array? And reading it and actually knowing helps out a lot. Enjoy, watch me work. <laughs>
Okay guys, so class just ended and I got through a good portion of the assignment. I'm just stuck on like the last three like section of the assignment. I'm about to go to work. So let me change it to more appropriate clothing. Okay, we're here. I am a little bit late. Work is about to fall off my body. Also, what was I say? For you and CC goers, um, I think I'm in Union Deck, which is like right next to you, Rec. Of course, you have to have a credit pass, which costs just like an arm and a leg, but it's helpful for days like this. The thing I like about having a parking pass is I don't have to worry about parking. <laughs> 56. So like, technically, I am on time. But I don't know. Oh wow, I didn't tell you guys that. I'm actually president of Girls Who Code now. We're part of this thing called College Loops. It's like national affiliation with Girls Who Code. The president of that, she gave us free College Loop hats. It's basically what they give to Girls Who Code groups. So they fill out all of like the registration requirements and all that. So we're back in the car. I just got off work. But yeah, that's pretty much what my day usually looks like as computer science student slash student worker. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you know the next time that I upload. That's a wrap on Instantly, so I'll see you on the next video. Bye.